How you doing? This is David Campbell. David Michael Campbell, if you're looking for my Facebook, because a few of you have said you wanted to see my Facebook or wanted to talk to me. Best way to talk to me is on Facebook Messenger. My name is David Michael Campbell. I'm the only David Michael Campbell. There's David Campbell, but my name is David Michael Campbell. I'm going to answer a few of the questions that some of you who looked at my last video asked me. But first, I'd like to thank the over 700 people who subscribed last month and the 800 and something people who liked the video and the 100 and something people that left messages on, on the last one. I appreciate it. You're really helping me get to where I need to get. But I still need 900,000 more views and 8,000 more subscribers so I could get to where, you know, my wife will have enough money to live on once I'm dead. So, but we've got a few years before that happens, I hope. But first thing I want to talk about is being married to a Filipino. Nobody ever tells you the truth. It isn't as easy as everyone makes it out because there's still a woman. They still nag, they still go crazy, they still do things that make you go crazy. The, only, the difference is the, the things they will do. No matter how mad they get, they still will cook your dinner, they'll still cook your breakfast, they'll still cook your lunch. No matter how mad they get, they'll never use sex as a weapon. Not like in America where if you piss your wife off, she won't have sex with you. In the Philippines, they're not like that. They know better. So, another question someone asked, how do you get the uh, thing that says that you're not married? It's actually very easy. You gotta call up the embassy, make an appointment. You go to the embassy, pay $50, and you raise your hand and you swear that you're not married and they give you a piece of paper to take to the, to the marriage council people in in the Philippines. It's really not that hard to do. What else did I want to talk about? I can't remember what I wanted to talk about. Mainly I wanted to talk about is that just because you're married to a Filipino doesn't mean you're not going to have the same problems. They don't like that. Somebody asked a question. I'm guaranteed he's not a black guy. It's a white guy. Ask me why I put down what's it like to be a black man or and disabled in my message. One, in the Philippines, it really doesn't matter. But I have been all over Asia. I've been to Kuala Lumpur. I lived in Hong Kong. I lived in Singapore, where being black does matter. They won't even talk to you. The Chinese won't even say hi to you. And the girls, if a girl goes out with a black guy in Singapore, her whole family will disown her. So it's, it does make a difference being black and being disabled. Just so you'll know. Thank you. And for all you guys who say, the women are with an older guy waiting for them to die. There's no way in God. It does. You know. There's nothing proud about being fat. I'm fat. I'm not proud. I'm. That's like a crackhead saying, "Oh, I'm proud. I'm a crackhead." Why would you? It doesn't take any effort to be fat and to be out of shape. My wife, she she fasts 16 hours a day. She doesn't eat after lunch. And she works out every day. Now, she should be proud of her body, which she is, because she earned it. She worked hard for it. To be a fat pig doesn't take nothing. You just have to sit on the couch and eat and do nothing at all. That's not a reason to be proud. And just because some of these guys go on these, on these, in these groups go, oh, you're beautiful. Don't believe them. Believe what happens when you go out in public in the club and nobody talks to you and nobody asks you to dance. That's the real thing. Not these guys who are in America who never seen a beautiful woman, never had a beautiful woman, who keep saying that you're gorgeous when you're not. You even know you're not gorgeous. So stop posting these pictures thinking we like you. We don't like skinny girls, but we don't like, like somebody, somebody put a post on there, we like big asses, but we don't like big ass girls. So to quit posting these pictures thinking, when these guys go, hello, beautiful, or how are you, or yummy, they're not real because they won't talk to you in public. If they do go out with you, they're going to try and make it very, very private. They're not going to post your picture on their Facebook or anything. They just know, they think you're easy. That's why they're giving you all this, so they know that you're easy, and they probably don't have to pay for you or buy things for you. 
That's why they're saying that. Also, the Philippines is very cheap. My house, I'm not finished yet. I got to put more paint on it. Take a look. And I have two lots. I talked to a guy the other day. One of the one of the subscribers. He said he budgeted 120,000 for his house here in the Philippines. He's going to move here. I think it's almost impossible to spend 120,000 building a house here in the Philippines. Rochelle knows two houses. These are the biggest houses in the neighborhood, and I don't think those people spend anywhere close to 120,000 building them. And there are two floors. This one, the one on the left has nine air conditioners on the outside. And it has a guest house, and I'll guarantee he didn't spend 120,000 on that one. And the one next to it's a little bit bigger, but he hasn't spent 120,000. I mean, it would be very hard to spend more than 60,000 on a, on a house in this country. Because one labor is ridiculously cheap. And if you look, now you can get taken advantage of when you're here. The one thing about building a house here is you really need to be here to watch them because the quality of work changes drastically if you're watching them than if you're just sending them money and telling them to fix it. Like this house here, they've been fixing it for over a year. It doesn't take that long, but I watched them work. They worked very slow so because I guess the guy's paying them by the day. But if you, you're here, they're going to they're gonna do quality work, and they're going to work fast. But if you're sitting at home, you'll spend a lot more money because they, when you're not watching them, they're going to take their time. They're not going to show up. They're going to buy more stuff than they need to take home to help build their own house. You need to be here if you're going to build your house. You need to watch them. You also need to get more than one quote from, from people. You need to go to three or four people and see how much they charge because a lot, a lot of them try to, they think you're just a dumb foreigner. And you guess what? When you come here, you really are a dumb foreigner because you don't understand. Nobody believes you could get an electrician all day for 10 bucks, or you could get a bricklayer all day for 10 bucks, or you could get a painter all day for 10 bucks. But that's the going rate around here, 500, 600 a day. Plus, you got to feed them. So it, everything here is 10 times cheaper than you think it is. Also, with the girls, you don't have to settle for a fat, ugly girl. You can get a good-looking woman in the Philippines. You don't have to settle for the low-hanging fruit, which a lot of people do. And even though you think all these girls, all they care about is money, their time is valuable, too. Do you think they want to spend every day with somebody they hate, somebody they don't like? No, they don't. They're still people. Money, you know what? A lot of them have been poor all their life. You think they, they couldn't wait a little bit longer and then find someone they like and be poor? Not that hard. All right, uh, stop, because I'm going to... I think because the girls don't like them, don't want to be with them, that the, the girls don't want to be with anybody. If I'm an old black guy in a wheelchair that could get a girl, then anybody can Unless you're an asshole. Assholes don't do very well in this country. Because they don't like it. Filipinos are very, very unconfrontational. They don't like being yelled at. And, and they don't like people being jerks. It just isn't the way they are. And the other thing I want to talk to you about is all these idiots saying that the girls here are scammers. The girls aren't scammers. The guys are stupid. They do stupid things, and then when it doesn't work out, they want to say the girl scammed them. The girl didn't scam them. It's not normal to send $100,000 uh, to Western Union for some, to some girl you've never met to start buying a house or buying a hotel. When you do stupid things, stupid things are going to happen to you. You know, it's they're not scams. You start it. The thing you have to remember here is the way you start is the way you got to finish. If you're, if you're sending your girlfriend twenty, thirty, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month and you've never met her, trust me, when you get here, you're going to have to give her even more than that. And that's how you start it, and that's how they expect you to be. 
the one, the famous, most famous, perfect word in this country, which a lot of guys don't know how to say, is no. No, I'm not giving your mother money. No, I'm not giving your father money. No, I'm not building a house for your cousin. No, no, no. Now, the kids, like my nieces, my nephews, my, my wife's sister's kids, do I help them? Yes, they're kids. They can't help themselves. And, and how's it going to hurt me to buy them a notebook or some pencils or something like that? Or every once in a while they want, they want some toys, I buy them toys. They're kids, I don't mind. The people, the beggars that come up, I help them too because they need the help. That's kind of my tax for living here. What, a dollar isn't going to make a difference to you, but a dollar to them, which is now 54 pesos, is enough for them not to starve that day. So, so why not help somebody? Why come to this country and not want to help anybody? Don't just come here and take. Help people as well. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to change your life. One dollar, five dollars isn't going to change nothing in your life. And if it does, you shouldn't be here anyway. You're broke. What else did I want to talk about? I forgot. Also, just this is for the Filipinos. All black men don't like fat girls. Don't get on these webs, on these groups saying, oh, I'm so proud of being four foot six and 70 kilos. It doesn't, you don't, there's nothing proud about being fat. I'm fat, I'm not proud. I'm, that's like a crackhead saying, oh, I'm proud, I'm a crackhead. Why would you, it doesn't take any effort to be fat and to be out of shape. My wife, she, she fasts 16 hours a day she doesn't eat after lunch, and she works out every day. Now, she should be proud of her body, which she is, because she earned it. She worked hard for it. To be a fat pig doesn't take nothing. You just have to sit on the couch and she eat and do nothing at all. That's not a reason to be proud. And just because some of these guys go on these, on these, in these groups go, oh, you're beautiful, don't believe them. Believe what happens when you go out in public in the club and nobody talks to you and nobody asks you to dance. That's the real thing. Not these guys who are in America who never seen a beautiful woman, never had a beautiful woman, who keep saying that you're gorgeous when you're not. You even know you're not gorgeous. So stop posting these pictures thinking we like you. We don't like skinny girls, but we don't like, like somebody, somebody put a post on there, we like big asses, but we don't like big ass girls. So to quit posting these pictures thinking when these guys go, hello, beautiful, or how are you, or yummy, they're not real because they won't talk to you in public. If they do go out with you, they're going to try and make it very, very private. They're not going to post your picture on their Facebook or anything. They just know, they think you're easy. That's why they're giving you all this, so they know that you're easy, and they probably don't have to pay for you or buy things for you. That's why they're saying that. Also, the Philippines is very cheap. My house, I'm not finished yet. I got to put more paint on it. Take a look. And I have two lots. I talked to a guy the other day. One of the one of the subscribers. He said he budgeted 120 thousand for his house here in the Philippines. He's getting to move here. I think it's almost impossible to spend 120 thousand building a house here in the Philippines. Rosh on those two houses. These are the biggest houses in the neighborhood and I don't think those people spend anywhere close to 120,000 building them. And there's two floors. This one, the one on the left has nine air conditioners on the outside. And it has a guest house, and I'll guarantee you he didn't spend 120000 on that one. And the one next to it's a little bit bigger, but he hasn't spent 120000 I mean, it would be very hard to spend more than 60000 on a on a house in this country. Because one, labor is ridiculously cheap. And if you look, now you can get taken advantage of when you're here. The one thing about building a house here is you really need to be here to watch them because the quality of work changes drastically if you're watching them than if you're just sending them money and telling them to fix it. Like this house here, they've been fixing it for over a year. 
it doesn't take that long, but I watch them work. They work very slow, so because I guess the guy's paying them by the day. But if you, you're here, they're going to they're going to do quality work and they're going to work fast. But if you're sitting at home, you'll spend a lot more money because they, when you're not watching them, they're going to take their time. They're not going to show up. They're going to buy more stuff than they need to take home to help build their own house. You need to be here if you're going to build your house. You need to watch them. You also need to get more than one quote from, from people. You need to go to three or four people and see how much they charge because a lot, a lot of them try to, they think you're just a dumb foreigner. And you guess what? When you come here, you really are a dumb foreigner because you don't understand. Nobody believes you could get an electrician all day for 10 bucks. Or you could get a bricklayer all day for ten bucks, or you could get a painter all day for ten bucks. But that's the going rate around here: five hundred, six hundred a day. Plus, you got to feed them. So it, everything here is ten times cheaper than you think it is. Also, with the girls, you don't have to settle for a fat, ugly girl. You can get a good-looking woman in the Philippines. You don't have to settle for the low-hanging fruit, which a lot of people do. And even though you think all these girls, all they care about is